Well, this country's governors have a message for the Congressional Super Committee. Your federal budget cuts could have a drastic impact on state budgets. With us this morning is the chairman of the National Governors Association, Dave Heineman of Nebraska. He joins us from Lincoln, Nebraska. Governor, welcome to In Business. Uh, what, would, what would you ask of the Super Committee? Well, first of all, we'd ask of the Super Committee to do its job. Uh, we need to get the federal budget uh, deficit and debt under control. That means you've got to control spending. You've got to engage in activities that result in economic growth, bringing in more revenue. In the process, the biggest concern we have is the Medicaid program that it dramatically impacts states' uh, budgets, somewhere between 20 to 24 percent on average. And this is a cost share between the federal government and the state government. And we would just ask, don't uh, allow the Medicaid program to simply be in this process a cost shift to the states. That would be unfair. Have you spoken to super committee members? Is this a real threat? Well, we certainly understand uh, that, that that is likely. We've shared the letter. We've talked to a number of senators and congressmen uh, individually as governors. Uh, we know there's going to be a reduction in the Medicaid program. If it's a small reduction, uh, states are prepared to share in that. We'll do our part. If it's a dramatic reduction, then it is significantly going to have an adverse impact on state budgets. And when you look at state budgets, there are three big items, Medicaid, the funding we do for the education of our children in K through 12 and higher education. So if you dramatically cut Medicaid, you're going to force us to cut the education budgets for our children. That's not where we want to go. Uh, now, as governor, uh, at this point, do you expect to have further state and local job cuts? Well, we, we certainly hope they'll, they'll listen to us. Uh, again, one of the best things, the most important things we need to do as a country is get this economy moving again. Mm -hmm. I'm very fortunate out here in Nebraska. Uh, we have an unemployment rate, second lowest in America, 4.2%. If we had a similar unemployment rate all across America, there'd be additional revenues flowing into the federal government. We'd have a, dr a dramatically different challenge. So again, one of the components has to be economic growth. Uh, well, one issue that uh, is, is front of mind in the business community when it comes to your state is this pipeline that's being built from Canada all the way through to the Gulf of Mexico going through your state, uh, the Trans-Canada uh, Keystone Pipeline. There was a huge rally in D.C. just yesterday to protest against this. Um, do you, as governor, currently approve of the route of that pipeline? That's the real issue, uh, Margaret. I want to emphasize as governor and for most Nebraskans, we favor pipelines. We understand the need for energy and energy independence. But this particular route would go over the Ogallala Aquifer that uh, uh, is the water supply for several states and most assuredly my state. And we're simply asking, why would you put it over the Ogallala Aquifer and risk an oil spill or an oil leak and possible contamination of our water when TransCanada already has a route along the eastern side of our state. If they put this second pipeline right next to it, I'll stand up and be supportive. So will, so will Nebraskans, and this controversy will end. Well, there is a bill, as I understand it, pending that would give you, as, as governor, the authority to change the route uh, of the pipe. Uh, is that a, a power that you would ask for? Uh, certainly, I'm willing to work with the legislature on that. If that's the way they want to do it, I'm perfectly comfortable in doing that. Uh, again, I called a special session of the legislature that began last week. Uh, those hearings on those bills will be this week so that Nebraska can have a larger say in the route of the pipeline. All right, Governor, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much uh, for joining us today. And we will watch uh, just you. what is happening in those super committee negotiations.